What is going on guys? Kevin at Lake Rose coming back at you with an enormous, enormous haul today. This is all vintage sealed sets, which I am super, super excited about. Can't wait to show these to you. We are in a little bit of a newer studio space here, so I'm trying to get used to lighting and stuff like that. So bear with me if the lighting on this is kind of weird. I know we have a couple different sections and there's a shadow. It'll get better. It'll get better. It's still just a kind of a run of the mill, just throw it up here in a second uh, studio versus the actual thing once I build everything out. It's gonna be pretty nice, but hopefully we'll get used to that uh, and get that all done here in the next couple weeks. So let's go ahead and get started with this. I do wanna get all these up on the store before the holiday. So ultimately we're gonna do this video uh, more rapidly than some of the other stuff that's come in. <laughs> uh, as you can see, all of these are going to be Lego system vintage sets and these are just so hard to come by in a brand new sealed form. So really excited to see these, even though some of these are kind of unique <laughs> in terms of the uh, <clears throat> the kind of theme that they are. Bear with me again, I am sick as well. I'm filming this. If you guys joined the Blind Bag Live video, you know that uh, my daughter had given me some kind of cold or something like that. So bear with me on the voice. <laughs> We're gonna go through these things. And uh, first off, 6160, this one is called the Sea Scorpion. This was from the Stingrays series, kind of after the, I think this is after the Aquanauts, uh, or it could be before, I'm not 100% sure when this came out. Uh, but as you can see with the glorious flap, of course, and we have all of the beautiful details that Lego used to do in their boxes. Just fantastic, bring it back Lego. It is an anti-theft system better than any other anti-theft system you could think of. And I'm not sure why they ditched it in the first place. Next up, we do have 2152. This is a RoboForce set, the Robo Raptor. Uh, this one does not have a flap because it is a smaller box. Uh, but as you can see, both the seals are there and in perfect condition as well. Uh, this was an eBay purchase. Uh, I think I paid, let's say $1,500, $1,700, something like that. Um, they had just found, emptied their closet and found these from, you know, a long time ago um, and uh, never been opened or anything like that. Next up, we do have a Technic set. This one is called the Hovercraft. Uh, it has those really cool rubber things. I had one of the, I think I had this set when I was a kid or my brother did. Something to that effect. Not particular. Not particularly one of the uh, the standouts of this collection, uh, but cool nonetheless because it is Technic uh, and it is old and it is still sealed. Going along with that, we also have another Technic set, eight eight one two. This is the Arrowhawk two. Uh, as you can see, this one is a push tab, and it is not pushed either. So we'll skip over that. There's some really, really, really good ones at the bottom of this box. So make sure you watch this video all the way through because there are some really good, uh, really hard to find sets in here. Uh, 6905, this is the Bi-Wing Blaster from the Insectoids series. Uh, this wasn't super, super popular. It was really cool with all the trans colors. I imagine under a black light, this theme is actually really, really dope looking. Um, but just another little set there. As you can see, the little sets are kind of on top here. <laughs> uh, next up, we do have 6915. This is the Warp Wing Fighter from the UFO series. I never got any of the UFOs. I think this came out a little bit after... I kind of stopped, or at least I don't remember it anyways. Uh, I'll have to take a look and see what year this came out, but uh, <clears throat> these guys actually have a trans head color, <laughs> which is kind of cool, uh, and a whole bunch of stickers and stuff like that. So still a pretty cool set or a pretty cool theme, uh, nonetheless. Going with the ex insectoids, again, we have the 6915. This is the Planetary Prowler, one of the bigger sets of this haul. Has the really cool wheels, and this one's are, these ones are actually in blue. Usually you see those in black from the Blacktron and things like that specifically, uh, but this one is actually blue giant wheels, which is pretty cool. And you have the little robot right there as well. No flap on this, surprisingly, because the box is pretty, pretty large. Next up, we have another UFO series, and this is 6975. I believe this is the biggest one, uh, the Alien Avenger. I'm pretty sure this was the biggest of this theme. <clears throat> Possibly not. I don't know. <laughs> I didn't get into UFO, so I'm not 100% sure. Uh, you can see all the trans pieces, though. That's just my heart right there. That's my kid. My childhood heart is all in the, uh, the trans-colored pieces. Uh, that would glow in the light and stuff like that. Just so cool. I just love that. I grew up in the age of neon, so <laughs> Lego really knew what they were doing uh, when they made so much neon uh, in the Lego sets they were making. Uh, we might as well finish some of the little ones off here. We have another UFO set. This is 6836, the V-Wing Fighter. I've gotten that a couple times. I don't think I've ever gotten it sealed, though. Just a little tiny box. And then we also have 6027. This is the Fright Knights Catapult something lord's catapult what, what was the what's the name there i don't know <laughs> what that name is uh something catapult 
<laughs> uh, but Fright Nights, super cool, super cool. I don't think I really got into Fright Nights as a kid either. Um, I was in the castle theme, but not Fright Nights. We had two of these. This is the 6036, uh, and this is the Skeleton Surprise, um, the newer Royal Knights um, that came out. I didn't have any of the newer Royal Knights either, but some cool pieces. Got that unique castle piece there. Uh, as you can see, like I, say, like I said, the little ones are on top, so stay tuned for the big ones. <laughs> we have 6837, the Cosmic Creeper. This is another insectoid set, brand new and sealed, and the 6007, another um, Fright Nights set. This is the Bat Lord in brand new and sealed form. Looking at you, butt shop. Bat Lord, brand new and sealed. Uh, next up, we have another Aqua Raiders. This is 2161. This is the Aqua Oozer. <laughs> Oh no, not Oozer. Oh my god. Aqua Dozer. Look, you can see why I said Oozer when I looked at it real quick. <laughs> I was like, that name sounds really weird. Aqua Dozer, and I looked at it and it looks like a bulldozer. So, uh, I'm gonna put that back. <laughs> I'm just gonna go ahead and put that back. Alrighty, now, we got the big sets coming in now. Uh, we're starting to get some of the larger things, and there's some, some other themes than these unusual ones, but, uh, the Hydronauts, we'll start with 6180. This one is called the Hydro Search Sub. This one does have a flap. As you can see, it had those really, really cool uh, chrome diver pieces in it, which is super, super cool. Uh, I think this was the same time as the Stingrays, because you can see these are like the, the other guys to the Stingrays. Kind of like Aquanauts and Aqua Sharks. It was the Stingrays and the Hydronauts. They were in there as well. Next up, we have a Pirates set. I know you guys perked up at that. Uh, 6279, this is the Skull Island, as you can see, clearance $28. My gosh, <laughs> so cheap comparatively to what it is now. And brand new and sealed, we have that infamous pirate flag piece that's in the Skull's Eye Schooner. Or not, Skull. yeah, that one might be in Skull's Eye Schooner. I was thinking Deep Sea Barracuda. Um, so Black Sea's Barracuda, wow. Good, good remember, good remembering. <laughs> <laughs> Good memory. Uh, Red Boat here as well. Uh, so really, really cool to see these old pirate sets. These ones have my heart for sure uh, here. And this was a really cool one. I never got this one, but I always saw in the catalog and I always circled it and I always wanted it because I always thought that was super cool, like the little hidden base Skull Island uh, there. So super excited about having that one in the store. Really hard not to keep these ones. <laughs> 6190, I actually do have another one of these that is brand new and sealed. The Shark's Crystal Cave. Never got this when I was a kid. I got the smaller shark set and I really wanted this one as well. Um, so this is kind of a uh, live vicariously through this one as well. Super cool to see this in new and sealed form. As we can see the flap there as well. And this is like the biggest Aqua Shark set. Love that they made different builds here as well. This actually did have a base plate behind it, uh, a water base plate, one of the few water base plates that there are. Um, so super, super cool. One of the ones that I never got as a kid, uh, which is why this job is so fun. <laughs> uh, next up, we have another pirate set. This is the 6280 Imperial Armada. And you know that, it, or sorry, this is the Imp Armada flagship. Sorry, it's from the Imperial Armada theme. The uh, Armada flagship, you know how hard it is to get sealed pirate ships. It is probably the most difficult, $24, look at that. Uh, and this one is sealed and beautiful, as we see all those little holy poly bags there uh, as well. Super, super cool. I've actually never gotten this ship before, so I don't know what to do with this one, uh, because I usually build them, though, so I have all the ships uh, built, um, not sealed. So this will probably get sold, and I'll probably buy a used one. Uh, he does have the really cool chrome uh, breastplate, so you can see right there. Shining in the light, the chrome breastplate, brand new condition right there. Can't complain. Can't complain about that whatsoever. We're just getting started, boys. We're just getting started. Next up, we have 6958. This is the Android base from the Explorians. Second largest set, I believe, from the Explorian set. Explorians are kind of interesting. There's a lot of little tiny ones. Uh, but as you can see, we have the, <clears throat> the flap here and that giant dome piece in there as well. Uh, which is super cool. Super, super, super cool. This this one always... Oh, yeah, that's right. They have little aliens <laughs> that you can see uh, the difference. Th these are magnetic uh, stickers as well, which is kind of cool. I always thought it was really, really, really neat. And you can change blue or red to see what the actual sticker looks like, uh, which was really cool when I was a kid. 
groundbreaking technology there. Uh, we're getting into some of the, the really cool ones uh, from the Dragon Masters, which was just, I was in love with the Dragon Masters sets when I was a kid. One of my favorite of all time. Loved Majesto and all of the dragons and everything like that. Oh my gosh. <laughs> just seeing these things takes me back. Oh my gosh. Uh, I did not have this one. The only one I actually had was the uh, Magista's Magical Fortress, I think, or Magical Workshop is what it's called. I think so. Um, so this is 6076. This one is called the Dark Dragon's Den. Uh, not a very complex large set, but it's just a little dragon cage. And uh, I just love these so much. Oh my gosh. This just takes me back. Super hard to get these Dragon Knights sealed nowadays, just like anything else, Castle and Pirates so hard to find sealed so it is so cool i jumped on this collection in a hot second because it's so hard to find these things next up we do have another castle set this is 6078 i've gotten this one sealed before this is the royal drawbridge uh, i've had this one i think several times sealed before not quite one of the super super rare ones so we won't get into this one in too much depth but still a really cool set has the dragon knight on there still uh, this is just the theme right after the dragon master sets Next up, we have the largest of the Dragon Masters sets right here. This is the Fire Breathing Fortress, of course, with the base plate. So extremely, extremely rare. I don't even know what the cheapest one of these is going for, but it's quite a bit of money, I can tell you that. Uh, and I never had this one either. It was always circled, never got it. Just, oh, the dragons, the dragons. It's going to be hard to sell these. <laughs> it's really going to be hard to sell these. Uh, oh man, <laughs> it's going to be so difficult. Uh, but as you can see, the base plate in its majesty there, we have the dragon cape as well, which is really hard to find now. And that special unique dragon set of pieces there with the, uh, the roof piece, I think is kind of cool as well. He has his beard off of him, which is kind of weird. And the glow in the dark wand as well. Loved the fact that he just rode that dragon around. <laughs> it was like my favorite thing ever. I don't know. I'm, I'm geeking out on this set. I don't know what I'm going to be able to do. I got to sell it just to make the money back, but it's going to be real tough. It's going to be real tough. I will tell you as well, guys, that I actually do have, there's, there's another set in here. So we're going to get to that in a second, but I actually do have a Majesto's magic, uh, magical workshop sealed that I haven't done on a video yet. So you guys will see that too. So really I have three of the sealed dragon master sets. I don't really think that there was that many. I think the other ones are smaller sets. So it's very possible I might just get the whole collection sealed and either sell it that way or keep it that way. I don't know. It's going to be real tough. I mean, I, I really do enjoy seeing the builds and stuff. So really for the sealed ones, I think for the money, I'm probably going to sell them because I'm not rich at the point where I can just keep sets that aren't built. <laughs> uh, I'd rather display them and have the box in the back or something like that. So probably will end up selling them, unfortunately, but so, so cool to see this. And let's go ahead and get to the last set of this amazing amazing opportunity that i was given here this is a big dog 6982 the explorians starship i got that name right i just double checked clearance 47 dollars. it was 63 and then it was 47 this is one of the really unique ones of lego history uh because it's just so weird <laughs> this set like, how do you pick it up? How do you play with it? It was so strange. Never got this one. We didn't get that many Explorians. I think I had a little tiny Explorian set when I was a kid. But this set is so weird looking and strange, but it's so awesome. It's part of Lego lore. And as we can see, a gigantic flap on this one and <laughs> all of the pieces on display. How do you steal minifigures? Star Wars people. Hey, Lego. How would they steal a minifigure if it's present in the front of the box? How's Walmart going to have to take that back if they can see that the minifigures aren't there? It's a, it's an easily solved solution. I'm sick of kids getting ripped off. I'm sick of myself getting ripped off from Lego sets, having their minifigures stolen out of them by horrible, horrible people. This would solve it 100% of the time. Just do it, Lego. Just do it. Just go back to the flap. It was way better. Box art was way better. It's, it's like my campaign to the Lego group is go back to the old old style boxes. They're so much better. Even my wife, who doesn't, never did Lego, doesn't do Lego, isn't a huge fan of Lego. <laughs> I know, I know, I know, guys. Uh, she does like it for our kids and stuff like that, though. She thinks it's cool. She just never really grew up with it. Uh, she even, like, picks up the old boxes and she's like, man, 
these were way better than the old than the new boxes. This was just so much more in depth. The the box art was so much better. Everything about it was so much better on the older boxes. So that's my high horse. This is the way we're gonna finish this. I personally, in terms of the favorites, are I'm definitely you could probably tell <laughs> these two are my favorite for sure. The Dragon Masters sets, the Fire Breathing Fortress, of course, being number one, and then the Dragon's Den being number two. So good. Really, really excited to find these things. They are worth so much money now. I'm probably going to sell, I don't know, I might have to just get the whole collection and sell it all together. That would be really cool as a listing on eBay, and I'd probably get a crud ton of money for it. Uh, so that might be something that happens. We'll see. <laughs> Comment below what your favorite set of today's video was. Really, really cool time capsule of history in the Lego group, and I just loved this time frame. One of my all-time favorite time frames. Some of the other ones are kind of unique. They're not really things that I was really into, which was a little unfortunate. I was really hoping for more of this stuff, but I'm guessing they probably built that, and I think that's the difference. It's hard to get these things sealed because a kid built that. I mean, come on now. You don't get that and don't build it. <laughs> the Explorians thing, you're like, okay, that looks kind of weird. Uh, maybe I won't build it. And, you know, space is, is a little bit more difficult to do that as well. Town sets, I can see keeping sealed just because it's like, whatever. It, you know, it's a, it's a car uh, or it's a train. But uh, these ones are so hard to find sealed nowadays because everybody opened them up when they were a kid. So really, really cool. Comment below. Love you guys. I love sharing this collection with you. These will be up for the holidays. And I'll catch you on the next one.